HITN aterrizó en la ciudad de San Francisco para la expo que Wildlife Conservation Network organiza para conocer todo sobre las especies en peligro. Thank you so much, Peter, for joining us today. Pleasure. Yeah. Uh, so, could you please tell us uh, how lion's population has decreased during the past 25 years? Maybe if you look at the last 100 years, they've declined from, from maybe 200,000 individuals. Um, today, they number about um, 20 to 30,000, and, so, and the rate of decline has been increasing. So, in the last 25 years or so, the numbers have declined by about half. So, it's quite a, a dramatic tale of, of decline. And so there's a number of, of reasons for this. They, uh, African lions face a number of threats around the continent. And as such, they, um, they kind of represent, the, the plight of lions represents, is, is emblematic of, of the problems that are facing wildlife and African savannas more generally. So some of the problems are the underfinancing of protected areas and wildlife areas. They are um, the loss of lions' prey due to poaching for meat. For meat. Um, competition between wild prey and, and livestock for grazing, um, human-lion conflict, so when lions kill livestock, local people will then often retaliate and, and kill lions. So lions are a top predator, um, and so they play a really important role in, in kind of introducing balance, ecological balance into a system, so they, they prevent the prey populations from going too high, and they also prevent the populations of the smaller predators from going from increasing too much and so they help to really retain a balance and increase the, the biodiversity, the, the diversity of mammals that can exist in a system and also make a system more resilient because if you have too many prey animals, if there's a drought, then the impact on the prey would be much worse than if the numbers are kept at a, a lower level. So what we do with the Lion Recovery Fund is we try and find the organizations working on the ground in Africa and different parts of the continent who do the best work at tackling these threats and then we try and provide targeted funding to as many of these different kinds of, of projects as possible. And so if, if any of the viewers are interested in learning more about this, they could have a look at the lionrecoveryfund.org, so that's www.lionrecoveryfund.org, and there you'll see a bit more about our mission, what we're trying to do, and the different kinds of projects that we're supporting. Si quieres saber más sobre estos temas que te presentamos aquí, visítanos en hitn.tv.